Well, the other thing too about Instagram and stories and stuff like that, there's no way to real mon. There's no the only monetization of that is just getting more followers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like which now, is some they're form trying of- to integrate it. Like I see a lot of stuff, especially on my page because it's like a business page. It's you know like there's ways that you can attach, um, like products and stuff like what, that. And Jerry- so like you can take them into like a Instagram version of your shop. And, you know, they can buy stuff right through Instagram. A little digital so storefront. Tr- yeah, so they're trying to make it easier. But, like, yeah, like, your your content isn't making money. Like, you have to post something that you're selling. Jeremy Lynch runs ads in front of his Instagram TV videos. Oh, that's like, smart. Third-party like, ads. Yeah. No, they're ads. Like, Instagram, like like a YouTube ad would be. like it Really? Runs, it runs a pre-roll ad. You can skip it and everything. And uh, it's right before his ITTVs. Huh. So, I think they're trying they're to trying, move yeah. to that. Yeah. But like you said, only on like long form content. Like if you're doing the IGTV videos where yeah. it seems like I, I've never seen it on a post. Russell Brand anything. probably his IGTVs, mm-hmm. the where he's like doing his podcast or whatever. Yeah. He probably gets paid for that mm-hmm. too. But yeah, like, you know, they're rolling it out for like the bigger people. Yeah. See if it's viable. But I mean, but paid growth is always growth too. Like you said, like that works, you know, running ad campaigns does work, assuming that you have a good ad and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But then the uh, organic way is just pumping on different social media platforms, you know, is like kind of just getting into the content mix is really the only way I see like. Do you think they did this on purpose where they were like, okay, people are making money by making YouTube videos and, and getting ads run on them. Okay, so... We don't want ads on things we don't like, so let's push everything towards short form, like TikTok style content, because there's no way to really monop- like uh, mm. um, make money off of that so much as you would make off like a YouTube video. Mm. So you know we had this big advertisement blow up on YouTube a few years ago, and now we have everything's pushed towards like Snapchat form. Mm. So you have YouTube Shorts, you have Instagram Reels, you have But TikTok. I think that's the consumer, though, that's pushing it that way, not the platform. Well, I think the platform was the one who was like, hey, this is a really good way to get people to make content and not pay them. Mm. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm not saying it's necessarily nefarious. It just worked out that way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Because, like, I mean, I think that all the, the platforms want to run ads, too, because they... They take it to the slice of that, yeah. Too. So. so, like, it's not like they we get to just you know run the ads for free. Like, we have to pay to run ads and stuff, so they get paid too, along with everybody else. So, because like even that was one of Snapchat's big problems when they were starting was that they weren't getting paid. Like, they didn't have any revenue model. You know, it's like put your content on us, and we're like okay, but they didn't have any way to monetize that content for themselves. They just had a bunch of people using their platform. You know, so I I don't know, but. Definitely short form content. I think that that's just yeah. I feel like the companies are are always playing are keep like, up <laughs> because you know the early days of YouTube. You know, if you saw like an hour long video, you weren't gonna watch that. Yeah, you know, like you Back were watching day, little cat videos seven, and like it yeah, was like Vine basically. Vine, yeah, two, two minutes. Well, videos. originally YouTube was put out as like a video chat dating app. I found out like that was what? like yeah, like in the very very like when they were building what eventually became YouTube, it was like a video where you could send back and forth little like video chats. Damn, I didn't know that. As like a, in like a dating app or something like that. Um, I didn't really look into that. I just, you know, that's something that I heard in passing and I was like, oh, that's interesting. But that kind of sounds like, you know, a lot of these tech companies end up like that. Mm -hmm. Um, But I think that they're always trying to, you know, like they put something out and they try to direct traffic for sure. And they try to direct behaviors into like their new stuff yeah, if true. they come up with it but most of the time they're playing catch up to the consumers and how the consumers use it because then eventually youtube people started putting long form content on youtube and everybody used to say like if you were trying to make money on youtube like don't use your know, long form content but now long form content is like is the sauce niche, on youtube yeah. and so but again That's somebody made somebody else took yeah over. somebody made an even shorter form of content and now that's like you know and it, so it started with tiktok and then TikTok or Snapchat or whatever, and then they kind of got ripped off by everybody else because they were like, oh, shit, people stories, like that. Yeah. yeah, like people like the stories. That's like they right. want the stories, now the YouTube shorts and stuff. So like mm-hmm. they like that. We're going to give them that. And then once they're using it, they're like, okay, now that we got them using our version of this new way to make content, how can we make some money off of yeah, it? That's true. But not pay them. Because you know, there's like all of the story form type of content. None of that is is being reciprocated back to the creator. 
with like YouTube. Yeah, yeah well, YouTube you could, does that already. But that's well, true because you don't think that all the ads, like all the ads that they show you, aren't going to, you know, like there's videos like when people watch our videos like we're not monetized we're not part yeah. of the partner program ads will show up on our videos that just you know hurts his page for, but that. we don't get paid for that yeah. because we're not providing the the viewership for the ads that's why they have viewer and watch time requirements for to get into the partner program because they're like look that's if why they, your shit's on our platform then the reason that they saw you is probably just because they were already on our platform so there's the, no reason to that's cut why you they in. started um pushing those new apps that you get paid to create content on and stuff because they were i forget what the app was that i saw but it's it's like that a more pay paid thing because a lot of that's why they also created the tiktok creator fund because a lot of tiktokers were starting to get pissed off because they're like dude i got 10 million you know what you call it and i get nothing for this like you know if i was on youtube i get paid bank and so they created the tiktok like creator fund or whatever hmm. so now they all get a pool of the money and that's kind of what i'm talking about yeah. is that you know you could be being viewed on instagram stories by 10 million people yeah and, and you get, get, another dime. get nothing mm-hmm. you get nothing from it you, they can run all the ads they want mm-hmm. they want you don't get anything but if you're on youtube and you're monetized and your video gets 10 million views yeah now all of a sudden you get a check in the mail yeah if you're monetized if you're a partner all the mm-hmm. all the you have to jump through all the hoops obviously mm-hmm. like you have to prove that you can bring viewers yeah. before they'll actually let you make money off of it but you can prove that viewership on instagram or snapchat or tiktok all day in short form content and never see a dime and that was actually yeah that was something that the consumers went after those platforms for because that was a disadvantage to them like they were like why don't i just take all my content and move it over to youtube you know i you see that's where i stand with it because like one i don't look at it as like a you know instead of looking at it as like oh these other platforms are like substandard i just look at youtube as being above standard you know i'm like okay the standard is you're probably not gonna get paid for your content but there's this one place where you could where they cut you in on the deal which is dope but then there's also it's not as if it's impossible to monetize like maybe the content itself isn't monetized but patreon has shown that you can just put content up on some other platform that people will pay you i'm just talking about what we're talking about like Like, just views you can't get paid for your content on instagram you know like, yeah, you can get paid them. for the eyeballs watching your content on right. Instagram. It's kind of what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. And like it, they literally, it's it's almost like now it's it used to be like YouTube, but now it's like spread out so much that it's like okay, if you want to make money off of Facebook, off of making videos on Facebook, it's essentially like you have to go through this entire other long process. Mm-hmm. So it's like instead of like oh, I'm already a blue check mark on Twitter, can I just you know, get paid to make my videos on Facebook. Like, no, you got to get the same number. It's like YouTube. You have Mm -hmm. to like jump through all their hoops to eventually get a paycheck from say like Facebook. Mm -hmm. And that's the only other one I could think of. Cause like Twitter, you you can't make money off of Twitter or be retweeted or like your content can make money on Facebook. You can, it's much, it's even tougher than YouTube though. Mm -hmm. Like it's like, it's YouTube with extra hoops Mm -hmm. because it's not a video sharing platform. It's a social media platform. But it's also too, I think that that's, indicative of how different people use the social media platforms right like you have consumers and then you have because like you said like a lot of people who are making content on instagram are just trying to emulate those bigger people that they see they're not going to get paid same as like youtube was like we're not paying y'all little chumps anymore like if you're like somebody who's like actually bringing people, people to, to youtube platform, then all right we'll pay you yeah but, but if, if you're just we're bringing using, people to you like yeah, youtube's bringing people to you, you then I'm there's no reason to cut to you in that, they yeah. were gonna watch my ads anyway <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the reasons i like twitch though is that twitch you can just you get a certain amount of subscribers you jump through their little hoops and then it's just okay i have x number of subscribers those X number of subscribers, I get a cut of each subscription. Mm. So it's like instead of ad revenue or based on views, now it's based on how many people so, sub to you. Yeah. And it's it's that's almost, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. I actually think that's a a less efficient model because as you see, like subs isn't really necessarily like views. You know, like just because somebody somebody could sub to your YouTube channel and then never get on YouTube again, and then so Twitch is paying you for that like ghost sub. You know, whereas if you pay per view of the video, then you're actually like rewarding content being made and people interacting with that content. So I think that they definitely actually a completely got different that. system. But yeah, I'd be interested up. to see, you know, like ghost and bot accounts are like rampant on Twitter and on, um, you know, Instagram. I'm sure Facebook as well. 
YouTube, maybe not. I mean, I see some weird bot accounts in the comments, but like none of those people are like making content. Yeah. But I don't know if that I've never heard of anybody talking about like a big bot problem on Twitch. Well, because you have to pay to subscribe. Exactly. So yeah. the fact that you have to pay to subscribe is what makes it different than the YouTube thing and why true. it's valuable to Twitch to do it by subscribers. Because there's not going to be any bots That's subscribing true. just That's to help true. out there. I mean, maybe you might like if it's really not that much and you're kind of, you know, you're not feeling it. You'd be like, yeah, I'll make a Twitch to subscribe to your thing, whatever. Yeah. But then that guy might never go back on Twitch, but he still pays. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. there's like tiers to it, too. So you can be like a tier one sub or you yeah. can use your Amazon Prime free sub every month to keep giving it to this one mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. And that Amazon free subscription is actually giving that person money. Mm -hmm. Like it's yeah. an actual physical way for you to be like, I have Prime. I don't really use Twitch, but I'll use my Twitch to sub to this guy. And then they're actually getting some sort of monetary value for that which is cool i like that system more than the view system personally because like i could see the same thing happening and working out on youtube like if you had to pay to be a viewer of the content on youtube like you do twitch and then instead of doing it payment by views it's payment by subscriptions and then you'd have way less ads i mean twitch still runs ads obviously but it's significantly less than youtube mm. And just, obviously, that's why ads are so prevalent on like Instagram and Facebook because but that's, why that's they where they the, make most of their money. That's why they have a premium option too, where you can circumnavigate those ads. So they're double tapping, really. They're double tapping because yeah. you don't get the benefits. Once you're in YouTube Premium, it's not like they're not getting the ad revenue. For the, yeah, either. like their ad revenue is still how the creator gets paid. If YouTube Those Premium are. had a had a way where like if you subscribed while having a YouTube Premium account, you would then give the creator some amount of like sub money. That would be similar to what Twitch is doing. Yeah. yeah. And it's like I could get down with the that. fact that there's 10 different versions of this all happening in our social media app world. Mm -hmm. And each one is is a different set of jumps and loopholes. And it's like, it's like it, it gets a little tiring when you think about it. That's why I like Dave Rubin's platform, Locals. Um, he started this tech company. It's in Miami now. And it's like, it's a platform where you create your own platform, sort of. And so, like, they give you the the structure. It's like a Squarespace, but for a social media site. So your social media, if you're a video content producer, it'll look more like a YouTube type of feed. But if you're, like, a Twitter dude and you do a lot of tech stuff... Obviously, your your feed, like when people go That's to cool. your page, it'll look like a That's Twitter cool. type of page. And obviously, it can be mixed and everything. But mm -hmm. what it is, is that it, people pay to subscribe to the individual person. So it's free to have an account on Locals. But then if you want to subscribe to a person's like page on that account or uh, in that platform, you subscribe to them directly. And obviously, Locals gets a small cut of that. But... It's kind of reversed in the Twitch because Twitch gets the bulk of the yeah, subscriber and money and you money. get a cut, but the other way around with the locals thing. Yeah. And so then you can do whatever you want with your platform is, and they say, as long as you're not breaking any laws, they don't really give a shit because mm -hmm. that's when they'd have to get involved. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and there's no bots because you have to pay. That's cool. You know, that's why I also think the strategy for social media, though, like you said, is figuring out where you fit in. You mm -hmm. know? Like I, I would never try and do every platform and try and work because there is too much and they're all too different and it's too confusing. You know, you got to figure out, like you said, do you like to do text? Do you like to do video? Are you short form guy? Are you long form guy? That's Unless you're little... Gary Vee and you got a team of interns that, <laughs> yeah, just, that just pump, pump you out, out on every specific. He's got wait. a whole Twitter team. He's got a whole fucking Instagram team and they all just focus on making content for each platform. Can't they wait, just follow dude. them around. I literally, that's why I decided I'm benching the RTP program or the RTP platform until i get to that point like that's i'm just not gonna do it anymore i'm done doing like just i'm not gonna fight through it all like i said i thought i'll get rich and then i'll invest my money in in doing those things but i'm not gonna try and get rich off of rtp anymore because mm -hmm. i don't want to do all that foot soldier work of yeah. making tiktoks and reels and uploading fucking videos and blah. i'm like oh, i'm done with it I it's guess. a full-time job it is. It is. It's, it is. Yeah. It's more than a full time more job, full -time. honestly. I mean, it's and, like a full time job with overtime. And yeah. that's like, and that's kind of my point. Like, if it, that's the same Continuous thing, if overtime. we want our podcast to grow, we have to take it on as like the full time job like that too, yeah. and start pumping out content like that. And so it's like, I I can't see me doing that here and doing that for RTP. It, you know what I mean? Like, it's I was lot. just like, fuck all that. Like, and and RTP always ends up that way. You know, like it always ends up that way. For some reason, I just well, I was telling Jessica, I don't see myself as like a teal swan or like a um, that infinite waters guy who like 
blew up playing the algorithm game. Like, I hate that. Mm. I hate that. I was going back through my YouTube channel. I was looking at all this stuff and I was just like, damn, I hate having to play the game of like picking the right title and thumbnail and like trying mm. to gotcha. You know, you got to yeah. like gotcha your yeah. subscribers. Like, hey, look at me. Look at me. Hey, hey, click. Fuck all that, dude. If you want the sauce, I'm giving you the sauce. Like that's already. I don't want to have to chase you down with the Bible and be like, come here. Come read or this like, shit. What flavor of sauce does everybody like today? Oh, yeah. they like it when I do this dance? Right. Okay, exactly. Mm-hmm. And then I have to do mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. You know, and I got to go there and do I a little flavor that. dance. Yeah, it's, it's very. I was looking through some of those guys content and it was like that. It was like doing like three most powerful tips to manifest your greatest dreams and all this shit or like you know doing a lot of like relationship style like how to manifest your ex back into your there's no such thing as that he's making that video because it panders to the people it's click it's clicky you know you want to click that and i hate it just it gave me this sour i mean that's a quick 30 second video like okay (laughs) you want to get back with your ex here's what you do you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's a good one too. Think that would be the preferred for more one. Than four minutes, <laughs> and then leave right. this video. Thank yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you though, like I was just gonna say, like you know, change all the reasons that she broke up with you. Be a different person, and then there you go. <laughs> just be what she wants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I just I don't want to simply manifest it. Yeah, I don't want to make content like that. You know, I don't. I like you I, said, I see. I see. It, especially in the podcast space, what ends up happening when you try to like go for the algorithm mm-hmm. is you end up just being on the right, <laughs> pretending to be left. It's ninety percent of really? what. Like, look at Tim Pool. Tim yeah. Pool's a great example where it's yeah. just like he, you know, to get the views that he gets, he's like the biggest thing on YouTube. To get the views he's that he gets, now. he's got. He can't just be like, oh, uh, you know. These these people that are talking about the January 6th insurrection, they're all, you know, they're traitors. And that was a terrible thing. He's got to have a clickbait title. It's got to yeah. be like January 6th, right. you know, <laughs> rioters, <laughs> constitutional, yeah. like, you know, like, yeah. and it's just, whatever it is, it's got to be something that's like, I, I'm, I look like I'm on the left, yeah. but trust me, guys, if it wasn't for Trump, I'd probably be on the right. Yeah. And it's like that, that space. And the conspiracy space, like, that's what is hot. That's yeah. why, like, our conspiracy episodes pop. Yeah. Is because of shit like uh, Fall of Cabal. Yeah. Which I, w- did you know there's a second Fall of Cabal? Did not know. I, I did not know, know that. It felt like it's fallen <laughs> twice. The second time it fell right into anti Semitic Rothschild Jew shit. And I did not make it past the first 15 minutes of Joel Osteen oh. explaining to me what the Ashkenazi Jews oh, were. I was like, the, whoa. The preacher? No, jo- um, is it Joel Ostegard? Sorry, oh, okay. Joel. I, like, Joel I think it's the- I think it's Joan Ostegard or something. It's whoever the lady is that, that did Fall that of Cabal, the, the, the yeah. independent researcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I, you know, she I like to the lizard people. <laughs> I I love checking in on on the crazy shit, yeah. and so I go to BitChute, and I'll mm-hmm. be like, "What's the most popular video on BitChute?" Oh, it's people talking about Fall of the Cabal again. Yeah. Okay, well, why? Oh, there's another one. It's yeah. a 14 part series. So, so, so the Taliban. Why are they always got to be so dense? I man? know. It's just a lady talking over pictures. That's mm-hmm. all. So the it is. Taliban's out now. It's a different. Pe- or the Cabal was the uh, the powers that be. You're like, thinking Caliphate. That's so, the Illuminati. Type. Yeah, Fall of Cabal was that video that oh, was. I'm thinking of Kabul. Yeah. Oh, like I thought you were just saying Kabul differently, and so I was like, "Oh shit, somebody else took over Kabul!" Like, that's oh, damn, funny. this shit's going again. Oh, Kabul. that's funny. I was totally oh, lost. Oh shit, y'all see Colin Powell died today? I did, I did not see that. that. Yeah, complications of COVID nineteen. Mm. He was eighty four years old. Tough. Yeah. What's up with all this Colin Powell love? Oh, I didn't have no love. Yeah, well, this oh, happens every I, time. But like, I, so many people I've seen posting about it, and I'm I mean, like, I got love. But it's like, it's happened like, every you time. Can't, like, dude, I remember when Colin Powell was like the bash city. Like, he was the badger that kept sticking his head up to get smashed. Now everybody's like, oh, it's such a tragedy. Colin Powell died, and I'm like, he was a great man. You know, he was a great man. I'm not saying you guys. I'm just saying he was a the lot first of people. Black Secretary of State. Like, that's I mean, a, a lot of people thing. were really. It's a blot on his record. They, that, in the Apple thing, he was like, as they, as he would say, would call a blot on his record, which was him pushing false intelligence and stuff to put our asses in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's a pretty big blot. It's a huge <laughs> blot. Like, to call that a blot. It's a birthmark that takes up three quarters of your face, my man. <laughs> That's uh, And this is, well, this is the Completely thing, too. Completely not 
noticeable. Every time somebody <laughs> mega famous or not even necessarily famous, but mega big in our yeah. culture dies like this, you this is this happens every, every time. time. Every time. It's just like, mm-hmm. yeah, but you remember that fucked up thing he yeah. did? And, you know, f- sometimes it makes sense. Yeah. Sometimes you want to think about the fucked up thing they did because it's so egregious. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes it's just like, yeah, I mean, John McCain is a Republican. Yeah. But what did he do Dude, that, like, is like, so evil and right. demonic that you have to be like, fuck John yeah, McCain. Right, you know right, what right, I mean? Like, right. oh, well, he voted against these these things. Right, right. Yeah, yeah and, like, oh, two. You know what I mean? Like, back when, back when Hillary was pushing the fucking, <laughs> yeah. oh, don't get married if you're gay. You know, yeah. like, marriage between a man point, and a woman. My whole point with it, I wasn't trying to be like, why y'all liking... No, Colin Powell. Colin Powell is a dickhead. I was more just so surprised because I feel like the way that you described it is the way that I feel like it is normally now. Like, like you're right. Like whenever something comes up, everybody's like, "Don't forget about that fuck shit." But I'm not seeing that. I'm just seeing like you know, a, I thought about hey, this Colin though. Powell, and I was like. It's like, could you imagine going to somebody's funeral? Like, you know, like you see it a lot in movies. Obviously. Oh, with like, Kobe? Rapist. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, nobody yeah. goes to a funeral and just like in the eulogy be like, that was a shit dude. Aren't we all glad he's dead? Hell yeah. Like, even if, like, if anything, they just the won't eulogy. show up. But like, most of the time, like when you die, people try to like forgive you. Of y'all better sense. be real about me when I die. <laughs> I want y'all to be like my uncle when he was talking about my grandpa at the little memorial we did where yeah. he was like, he was a womanizer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they called him out. And I was like, whoa. And like, the fucking, there was some family members like, what are you doing? Stop <laughs> it. And it's just like, hey, I don't tell you how to feel. <laughs> it's just like, you know, I hope somebody's got the balls at my funeral to be like, he stole my girl. That man stole my girl. <laughs> he was a woman. <laughs> he was a woman. I, whatever it, it may be. But yeah. I, I get what you're saying about how, like they're showing a lot of love. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the thing is like the day of, you know, it's usually it's a cycle. It's like the grief cycle. You know, it's like day one. I guess. He was a great man. Yep. Day two. New claims about sexual assault from, <laughs> from inside the secretary. You come you out. Know, I was thinking I was like, man. And then hope, six months later, uh, they're tearing your statue down. I hope Cosby doesn't die so soon that he gets the same treatment, you know? Because I'm thinking, like, if we find out tomorrow that Bill Cosby died, he ain't getting none of this. He nah, was a great a good man. Riddance. It's a good riddance. Hey, so, but Louis yeah. C.K., though, he might actually get some... Uh, you might get some applause because yeah, I mean, he's, he's been working his way back. Once love. I learned the details, I never looked into that. Like, I'm really not super interested in all, the, like, the super sexual assault scandal stuff. I mean, it's just not interesting to me. I don't know why. But... When I finally, like years and years later, found out what actually happened with the Louis C.K. thing, I was like, how did he get in trouble for that? He asked them. He said, like, hey, yo, I'm, I'm a jerk off right now. And they were like, yeah, all right. Well, see, it wasn't, <laughs> illegal. It wasn't illegal. That's and the they thing. were on the phone. Yeah. Like, you know, it's not like he was just like he didn't even in whip the his meeting dick out and then turned him. around and it was just like, so Karen. Oh, he did t- No, uh, he, he was on like a Zoom Skype call or whatever. And like just under in the, the table. call. But he told them beforehand that he was masturbating. If I'm, if and I, they continued to take the call. So if, I'm like, how are you going to come out like there was seven some months later stuff. and be like. There was some in-person stuff, but it was essentially that. It's not what he's doing is not illegal. It's just he's pressuring. It was pressuring women and it was like gross. Yeah. So he had to come out and be like, all right, it was kind of scummy. Yeah. But yeah. he didn't come out and say, like, I raped that yeah, girl. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I plead guilty right. because he didn't do any sort he of like really yeah. terrible I really stuff. I feel like he did anything it was just wrong. Creepy. Well, it just depends because like with Aziz Ansari, that's another one where it's like this man got dropped from his show. That was a great show. Oh, I didn't even know. This. Master of None. Yeah, uh, Aziz Ansari had a great show. The third season, he's out that's of great. it. Why is he not in the third season? He had a really bad date with a girl where they almost had sex, where he was throughout the entire experience because she wrote about it in like a blog. And even in her writing, he doesn't do anything illegal. He doesn't assault her. He's just trying to fuck her. And it's like, there's a line. There has to be a line Line, between I'm trying to fuck you and I'm assaulting right. you, or pressuring you, or forcing you <laughs> right. to fuck me in a criminal manner. Right. There's well, the not a lot is, of gray area. The line is when he starts fucking her. Consent. <laughs> well, it's like I guess consent is like the line. You know what I'm saying? Well, because there's a difference between well, being yeah, like, yeah, like if you start fucking somebody without consent, you've now crossed that you line. Crossed that line is now right. between <laughs> wanting to fuck somebody and actively being fucking somebody. And I think you should be able to ask multiple times. Like bitches be like, like if you're like, hey, you want to fuck? And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, come on. <laughs> The quack that's that's uh, uh, well, that's, <laughs> right? Well, but then they'd be like, he's pressuring me. That. Some you men know? do say that, like, no. Yeah. Like, that's not no. Like, no is no. 
know. And then like, stop it. Like, that's not really like, like, no, that's almost like, keep doing it a little bit. Even if you hard know me and I'm still just like trying to negotiate, like at a negotiation table, somebody says no, you know, you don't just be like, all right, well, fuck it. You know, I guess I'm like, I got a great joke. I got a great joke. I got a great joke. That's why women get paid less. <laughs> joke it's a joke because uh, <laughs> of negotiations I can, I can see the difference between like you go and fuck me uh, oh you go and fuck me like that that is like all right you're enjoy your little, lobster th- bitch yeah you're getting a little threatening well because like know, Aziz but... I guess took this girl on like a date there was a whole build up they're making out on the couch dicks are out and then it's like I just I don't want to fuck or something. I want to go home. It's yeah. like, oh, do you? Are you sure? Because yeah, you, you know we're. we're I kind of already got I my kinda, I kind of want to fuck you pretty bad. And it's like there, there, there was a line drawn, and I think it was just drawn at the wrong point. It was drawn <laughs> oh at God. someone felt uncomfortable in a adult sexual situation with you, and I think that line needs to go back to what it was where criminal act occurred. Right. Because if you if you don't do the criminal act line and you do the I was uncomfortable line, then it's like anything. He looked at I was me. in a waiting room and yeah. someone brushed against my thigh and they said, excuse me, sweetie. Yeah. And it looked like they were aroused. Right. You know <laughs> I have I mean? now been assaulted. assaulted. Fire that person. Sketch. And it's like you're banned from the dentist office. <laughs> That's why we have like things in criminal law where it's, I don't want to be like the law guy, but it's like, they're there for a reason. Mm -hmm. And that's why in our laws, it says stuff like beyond a reasonable, you know, doubt or beyond a reasonable, uh, like that was not reasonable for him to have done. So that was Mm -hmm. unreasonable. So we can now criminally hold him liable or something. Yeah. Just, yeah. See, like if he had like taken her hand, like maybe they're just having a little makeout session. He like takes her hand and just like makes her grab his dick. Right. And she's like, no. and she's like, and yeah, like, she's like yeah. pulling away. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah. whoa, yeah. that's yeah. Assault. Yeah. Assault. It's not very like, reasonable yeah. of you to do as Ethan's are. But right. I mean, like, if she's like helping you take your pants off and then all of a sudden your dick's out, and then she's like, you know what? No, I, I don't think I want to have sex. And you're just kind of sitting there confused, like, are you sure? sure. Like, what? and then you don't <laughs> have sex. <laughs> and, yeah, and then and, and then, you're now <laughs> me too. And, and then like, I hate that too, because they're like, he wouldn't take me home and all that stuff. Like, bitch, leave. Just yeah. walk out. Like, Uber you don't there. have to, like, yeah. stay there. Like, if you're uncomfortable, <laughs> supposed to drive the situation. You like, you know what I mean? But they're like, oh, he just wouldn't let me leave. Like, if he didn't chain you to the couch. Yeah, yeah let you leave. And I, would, I think there's a difference, too, between, like, victim blaming and looking at a situation and saying, like, you are responsible for your own actions. You know, there's there's got to be some accountability on both sides if you're in a position where you're uncomfortable and you think something's going to happen. And you continue to stay in that situation and do nothing. Right. Like there's, there's it's gotta be some responsibility. I'm, I'm not saying like, Oh, you got raped because you're stuck around. It's no. your fault. What I'm saying is if somebody's giving you red flags and you're like, ah, you know, I'm just gonna, yeah, he's right. really rich. So I'm just going to feel it out. You know you know I mean? <laughs> yeah. I think, I think that that's, I might stick around. Like said, yeah. doesn't deserve to be raped. But at the same time, I think you, you forego any of that, I felt uncomfortable talk. Like, I don't like that to me. Like, yeah, like I mean, said, that's he, something that if you, if he assaults you, then, then we have a serious conversation yeah. to have, you know, or like you said, if he grabs you, I can even see if he just went to the bathroom and comes back with his dick out and he's like, ah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they like, do that know, a lot. They'll like yeah. open the bathrobe yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see, that. I can see like, that. That you didn't ask to be flashed or like see the yeah. dick or nothing like that. But I mean, if, if somebody's just soliciting out. you to fuck, I don't see how that's like, a punishable crime. It goes right back yeah. to if somebody comes out and flashes you, that's a criminal act. That's yeah. a criminal act, yeah. Yeah. If you're making right. out on the couch and you unbutton your pants and pull your dick out, yeah. there's nuance there. It's got to yeah, be some really fucking like nuance there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that, that's what's going to come to like those full page consent forms and stuff like, is now a good time to ask you to sign but the see, consent no, form? But, but I signed it under duress. Uh, he was yeah. very, he's very large. Yeah. He could kill me. Yeah. He could choke me to death. Yeah. He made me sign it. Yeah. Like, what was I going to do? It's weird. It's I weird did, it was just body cams. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> like like the police. Pro shit. Yeah. Everybody like the police. We get all the body cams. So that's about <laughs> the only fucking way this is ever going to work. So it's I'm definitely out. Uh, as soon as you come into my staunch. house, like I'm going to have that sign up there and be like, you're, you're, you're consenting to be recorded on this program. Yeah. <laughs> Smile, you're on uh, camera. That's funny. Um, this is why I have a 
steadfast rule that I don't have sex with like really drunk women. Oh, yeah, no, I don't do I that. Just I, don't do do that. I just won't do it. I just Even won't do it. Even if she's like so bowed it, yeah. I'm just like, nah, I just can't. I can't. Even trust if I'm you. drunk, I don't trust you. Yeah. Even if I'm drunk, yeah. I might not consent. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like I have to watch myself. There's been a couple times back in my army days where I was a little too drunk. I've gotten it, and it's come close. It's and I've had to tell myself, listen, John, you're in no state for this. You're, you're, you're going to get raped. It's happened to me. <laughs> I've been balls deep in a girl and i was like you know i probably shouldn't be doing this and then she was like she was like no please don't like 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 Wait, holding me don't let like, me go stopping yeah. me from yeah. like leaving and i was like you're trying to leave you're mid-ex? borderline raping me now you're trying to leave mid ex <laughs> i mean i was cheating on my wife so i had like oh. a little like a symphony <laughs> moment where i was like this is probably not the best course of action yeah. for you sir you know i was trying to turn over a new leaf but i was a pretty shit person because i remember being in a similar situation except like i was fucking a girl and then realized looking around like is this bitch married <laughs> 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 And then I was like, well, I better hurry up and finish. (laughs) (laughs) I better get out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Who's this guy? She's like, it's my husband. (laughs) Yikes. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was a similar situation. Didn't feel good. No, it didn't feel good. Did not feel good. That's me. It was just thrown off the mood. My phone just kept going off just because like blowing my phone up. <laughs> it was like, he really called me like 32 times in a row. That's a good point. I guess if I was having sex with a girl and then my wife was just blowing my phone up, I'd be like, oh, God. <laughs> the guilt just kept oh, mounting. The consequences <laughs> of not answering just piling up on you. <laughs> Every yeah. call I don't I can answer. see where you might lose the romantic <laughs> fervor in the moment <laughs> yeah it's just that same <laughs> terrible apple fucking ringtone over and over <laughs> she's like silence can you turn that off <laughs> uh, i think i gotta go doom, 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 uh, doom, funny she twists the story too so then i leave and then i'm going back home and then that girl starts calling me non-stop she just and i couldn't go back into my house because she just would not stop calling my phone i was like stop oh my god yeah See, you know, I mean, like we get a bad rap, but women be just as crazy and and put us in just as precarious situations. Humans you know? are crazy. Right. That's where I I and yeah. I've been having this kind of kick after we talked about the transgender thing. We yeah. talk about gender a lot and this kind of stuff, and it's like we need to figure out if we're exactly the same, if we're different, or if there's some kind of gray area there. Mm-hmm. Because man, being a man is a lot different than being a woman mm-hmm. in every aspect <laughs> mm-hmm. of life. I got in trouble one time. I was trying to... I'd be interested to to see what you guys think about this. I was trying to make the point that women have a very difficult go at it as I compare it to like the experiences that I've seen and heard women go through and my own experiences and the experiences of the other men that I know in my life. I was telling... like I remember I was at this girl's house and she had a friend over and we're just like talking in the living room and I was like, yeah, you know, like I'm... You guys got it rough. Like I'm... I'm kind of happy to be born a guy. And they got mad at me. They were like, why would you say that? And I was like, I thought that that was a compliment. <laughs> oh I was like, God. did I say that in the wrong way? I, 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 I was trying to acknowledge your plight as a yeah, woman. I was trying to say that it's hard to be a woman. Like I, I understand. Like I'm trying to understand Respect. the plights yeah. of the of the female experience. Yeah. And they were like, "No, no, no." But you can't want to be a man when you like you gotta prefer to be a woman. Like they didn't outright say that, but, but that could be the only logical yeah. conclusion to have a a like a disagreement yeah. with what I had said there. They were like, "No, no, no, no. You should want to be a woman. You should take on that that that." hardship I guess and I was like I don't see exactly what's happening here I was so confused it got to the point where I was like I think I'm gonna walk down to the thing and get some cigarettes yeah. <laughs> well think about it dude. think about it just being a man puts you in the same category you're the patriarchy so you even if you were a born a a uh, really poor minority in a shit part of town with like nothing going on in your world you're still considered the yeah. patriarch. You're still considered the ruling class because you're a man. Yeah. And like until we address that, whether or not women are equal, because I think they're equal. So if they are equal, then how is that man in a position of power over that woman? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like uh, get, take any woman on earth and hold her up against any man to say that the man is somehow superior is 
that's supremacy. That's yeah. that's like it's like nationalism. It's like yeah. saying you're the best because you're an American. It's sexism. You're a guy. Yeah, it's sexism. But reconcile that with all the other things in our society and how everything else works. Where it's like, well, women are victimized by men. Yeah, but why? Well, because well, they're stronger and they're bigger and they're smarter like no they're not we might be a little bit bigger we might be a little bit stronger but we're just fucking well, humans having the human experience so are we equal or are the dominant men holding women down remember we were having that conversation that one time about like i was talking to that girl and she was like i'm afraid of being raped at night and all this stuff and this mm-hmm. and that and i was she's like you know we, we have to deal with the fear of men and i was like I'm afraid of men too. I don't get what the fuck you're talking about. Like you act like we walk around. I'm like hell yeah, I can fucking kill anybody. Else. I was like, it's, I'm afraid too. Like you know, what I mean, there's so many situations where I'd be like, that man terrifies me. You know, like there's women that terrify me. So I'm just like, yeah, it's it's interesting conversation because we're not equal now in the sense of like, okay. Excuse me. Don't take that. There's they'll sound bite that and fuck me. Like, but <laughs> Media like, matters. We we are. It's like saying, like we talk about too, get the average woman in the ring with an average man in MMA, you're not really equal. But, you know, take them in the realm of like emotional intelligence. Women are far superior, you know, um, when it comes to a lot of different qualities. Like, you know, it's like, it's just weird. It's it's the the fail of a blanket thing. We talk mm-hmm. about this happens with black people a lot too. Like, all black people are experiencing the same plight. No, they're not. <laughs> like, no, they are not. Like, there's a lot of rich black people out here who can walk down any street, handle any situation. That wasn't no, even true no in slavery. Yeah, you like, know all I mean? black like, people, people weren't experiencing, experiencing slavery the same way. way. No, not even close. Like, imagine you just yeah, exactly. Some black people own slaves. It's a totally different experience. <laughs> so it is weird that you know we lump all men into a patriarchy because there's some dudes out here who. Like I said, are the least threatening individuals on the entire Not planet. Not even just you know? that. Like, when we talk about being equal, it's like, okay, stick 50 men and 50 women in a advanced biology 203 classroom at, like, you know, MIT or something. Mm-hmm. There's going to be more women passing that class right. than men. Mm-hmm. Right. Does that mean they're smarter? Right. Does that mean that, yes. like, <laughs> in certain aspects, like, they... Or maybe organize better, or they're better at completing assignments on right. time, or you know having less distractions to do their work or something. Mm. It, but does that make it make them that way because they're women? I mean, more women are graduating, so obviously women get, are better at school. Yeah, and it's just like mm. yeah. That's, that's why it's, I love when Jordan Peterson hit that one chick with that stuff, and she's like, "I just saw an Instagram men, reel of that, that the other day." The time. He's like, "Well, more men are incarcerated, more men are homeless, more men are this, and more men." Are, I was just like, "Got a point, man's got a there's point." There's pros and cons yeah, to there's being pros and cons to any gender, every, anything or sexuality or there's whatever. Pros and cons to being certain heights and, and <coughs> true and weights and it's true. So how that, do we make know? everything equal? Yeah, I mean, like you just don't. You know, that's the thing that's hard about it. Is people want it to be, but it's just not. Yeah. It just like, Everybody. I mean, this goes to the gender pay gap issue where it's just like, it doesn't exist. Well, that, that's kind of what I'm, <laughs> what I'm getting to is like, you know, it's like, well, you get paid more to work in that warehouse than I do to work in this office. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, are you big enough to work in this warehouse? Mm-hmm. Are you strong enough to work in this warehouse? Mm-hmm. Because you got to be big and you got to <laughs> be strong. Even if you were, mm-hmm. do, would you trade in the office work that you do now for the, the hard physical labor of hypothetical the warehouse. warehouse work that we're talking about you doing? Like, and so like, there's nothing that. like that's the thing is like I don't see very many instances of not to say that they don't exist, but I think it's a very rare occurrence that somebody would hire a man solely for the because he's a man on that one single variable and the idea that the idea that you could pay women less to do the same thing you might pay, you might hire women you, right exactly like if i'm to be, like if i'm to be believe that the capitalist labor. greedy pigs that own these companies are exploiting all the workers then i don't see why somebody wouldn't i mean and they were trying the, to hire and that children be, and that's what <laughs> thomas Sowell and lots of different economists call the cost of like the economic cost of discrimination if you will as it's defined today um in the sense that it would pay someone, it would cost someone to 
sell their house to a white person for less money than it would be to a black person that would pay what they wanted mm. just because they wanted to not sell it to a black right. person, which people don't normally do, right. which is how a lot of the neighborhoods when black people were moving up north a lot of those neighborhoods ended up becoming very black, even though a lot of the people that wanted to stay in those neighborhoods were like, no, don't sell your house to a black person. It's like, this black person is going to pay me what I want for it. So unless you got a white guy that's going to do the same, I'm selling it to this black guy and because I'm not going to be here anymore. So what's going to bother me? Yeah, I agree. You know, but this happens all the time. Because this is the thing. Sorry to interrupt you. Racists care about their own race more than others, but they care about themselves more than anybody else. Yeah, always. That that self preservation trumps any yeah. like tribal tribal ties of any sort. Yeah. You know? Self supremacists. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Everybody's one of those. But um, I was talking to John about this too, though, about how like often <coughs> Jessica gets, I don't want to say discriminated against, but looked down upon by other women. Like we'll go to pick up furniture and stuff and this and that all the time, and they're all like, you know, you're gonna be able to pick that up you know like you got you you, you didn't bring any other like she, the one lady went to go pick up a piece and she's like um she's like yeah i'm bringing my husband with him and she's like make sure he brings friends you know and then so we pull up and it's just me and her and she's like uh how y'all gonna get this out of here and it's not and we're like we're gonna pick it up and jessica's like Rup. and just locks it out and she's like wow i wow i could never do that but and i'm just like you see like that assumption isn't just men projecting that onto women is like y'all are the weaker right like y'all do the same like everybody has those perceptions of that whether they're true or not which Mm -hmm. you know obviously like i said jessica's the type that would show you that that's not a true scenario (laughs) if it's true that women look up to other women as their main role models then that would inherently mean that the majority of the ideas that they're getting about what it means to be a woman is from women. Mm. Like it's very like, how strange would it be for cosmopolitan to have a, a male writer write an article titled 50 things you should know about women. Like they don't want to hear a man tell you about what it's like to be a woman. The, the, the main opposer, well, not, I'm not going to say the main opposer, but we looked up a whole article where it was nothing but other women trying to suppress the rights of women's bodies. You know, they were all like, no, you should really be a mom. It wasn't like a bunch of dudes. It was like a bunch of women like talking about how that they thought abortion was legal. You remember we were looking mm-hmm. at that thing and it was like the coalition of women. Oh, yeah. The that. coalition yeah. of concerned women well, of America. America some you know, shit like that. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, the men are trying to take our our rights from us. And it's like. How did we get paid with whole that? Like, there's a women. whole group Concerned of women. old white women that are depressing you more, if not the same, as these men. When I here. think about the story with like Jessica showing up and that woman being like, I can never do that or whatever. Yeah. It's like, that woman has built her own box. Mm-hmm. And in that little box, she is incapable of lifting heavy things. Mm-hmm. She can't do things that she thinks are outside the realm of possibility for her because she's a woman. She yeah. has put those qualifiers on herself. Right. Yeah. And it's like... I would never go up to some lady that I was picking up furniture from and being like, you can't lift that, that piece of furniture. You, know I mean? like, you don't know anything about that woman. Like, right, why who would... knows? That lady, she can f- fucking flip that motherfucking thing <laughs> like one of those old <laughs> Scottish guys flipping the giant fucking wood thing. The things. Nevada State deadlifting champ. Yeah, exactly. Because I look what, at... This? <laughs> I just would never put that... Li- like right. Now, in some instances, and this is where you know people get fucked up with discrimination and with stereotypes... In some instances, I'm going to look at that person and know without a shadow of a doubt, they will not and cannot <laughs> lift that dresser. Some people just aren't going to like look that way. Like a six-year-old is not going to be picking up any dresses. Not even just by size Frail either. 90 year old like you man. Can, you can just take it on, like, not just age, size, uh, you know, like, hardiness. Body you know, structure. If they, if they come out with a walker yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. 22 years old, yeah. you're going to be like, okay, you're not going to be able to lift up that thing. <laughs> and it's not like, oh, well, that's ableist. Yeah. No, I'm just using my eyes to assess a situation. If I show up and you're wearing like the full on Gucci with holding a tiny little dog and the sunglasses and high I'm heels, that you're, not, you're yeah, probably you're also not, not yeah. going to lift this dirty yeah. piece of furniture, yeah. you know, just based off of cultural appearance. Yeah. So it's like this lady built her little box and she wanted to put Jessica in that box and be like, aren't you in the box with me? Mm-hmm. And Jessica was like, no, no I'm not. It turns out <laughs> I'm a in a of fact, completely I'm in a... different box. Yeah. Hold on. And you know what? I think that that's totally human like nature. This is what we talk about often when I'm getting into stereotypes. And I'm like, stereotyping is natural. I'm like, the only problem comes when you won't let people break out of their stereotypes. You know, if she's like, I could pick this up and you're like, no, 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 no. Trust me. You can't pick <laughs> let me this get my up. Husband like, for yeah, you. like you can't pick this up. Like, no, I, I got it. No, 
well, we're, I don't want you getting hurt on my premises. I'm not going to let you pick that up. You know, that is the thing that sucks. You know, even like I said, when that girl, when she did pick it up, that lady was like in shock and disbelief. You know, I, I could make the assumption, like you said, I could see a person back. Like, he ain't going to be able to lift that. And then he, what? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. You guess again. You know what I mean? Like, and, and it makes sense that I can understand that my stereotype would be wrong. I'm just taking a guess, you know, based off of very surface level clues, mm-hmm. which is, like I said, a natural human thing to do. But it's weird when you like box people in and then you won't let them live outside of that yeah. box. Yeah.